So for this recipe, we're going to be using basil pesto, half a package of penne pasta, some sweet bell peppers, half an onion, and about four tomatoes. First things first, we're going to go ahead and boil our pasta. So I've already oiled and salted the water. Now I'm just going to start cutting up my bell peppers. So I'm cutting off the ends and then cutting these in half and taking the seeds out. I'm just going to be giving these a rough chop and I highly recommend that you do not use green bell pepper for these because it completely changes the taste of this dish. Moving on to tomatoes, I'm just going to cut this in four pieces, then in slices, and then I'm going to dice it up. Then just go ahead and set these aside because we won't be needing them until later. So here I'm just going to town on these onions. Now that my chicken's all ready, I'm just going to go ahead and slice that into little cubes. Now you can shred this, but I prefer to have little cubes in this pasta. Then just go ahead and add some oil to your pan and you're going to need quite a bit because you're sauteing quite a bit of vegetables. Then go ahead and throw in your onions. Go ahead and give those a little stir and then add some salt. This is going to soften them up because you do not want crunchy onions in this dish, trust me. Now it's time for the star of the show, the bell peppers. So here I'm just giving these a little stir and then I'm adding in some garlic powder. This is optional but it just adds that much more flavor guys. Now that these have cooked up a bit, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of I can't believe it's not butter. And this is optional so if you don't have any, don't go out and buy some, you can just omit it. So this is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken now and we're going to just cook this up together for just a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead and add those tomatoes in. So go ahead and cook that up for just a little bit and then add some more seasonings if you need it. So check it for salt, check it for pepper, whatever you want to throw in there, now's the chance. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my pesto and just a little bit of the pasta water that I set aside. Now with all the patience in the world, give that a little stir until everything is combined. And this recipe calls for heavy cream, but I'm just going to add a splash of almond milk. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta. And I'm going to throw in some cheddar cheese, but you can throw in Parmesan, that would be really good in this. But this is all I had on hand and I am a firm believer in just using what you have. You can never have too much cheese guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw in just a little bit more. At this point, I tasted it and I ended up adding a little bit of garlic salt and some more garlic powder. We 
there you have it this honestly came out so good we had it for like four days straight and I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you tried it and thank you so much for watching